Hello everyone, Sigmalator here, and welcome Layers of Fear VR. I wanted to check this game out for a while, but now that Bloober Team, who made this, are doing the Silent Hill 2 remake, I figured now would be a great time to check out some of their work. So, with that in mind, let's jump right into it. Not sure my first experience with this in VR is going to be a good idea, but... Hear footsteps. I know how you must feel. Lost. Alone. Hopeless. You probably deserve it. Ash? But even for you, there is still a way. A way to bring it all back. The one precious thing you ever truly desired. Finish it. Okay. Every portrait that is painted with feeling is a portrait of the artist, not the sitter. Oscar Wilde. I see. Okay, interact, grab. Alright. Excellent. There we go, I have hands. Uh, ah! Into my hands, that makes sense. This... Nice looking house. Artist Triumph, gallery opening wows critics. Some call him the new Caravaggio, others compare him to Van Yike? Ike? I don't know. And one awestruck critic who wished to remain unnamed went as far as to invoke the spirit of the great Leonardo. Anyway, you slice it, the exhibition proved an immense success. Stink's style has been praised for its unique for its unique combination of Renaissance influences and more progressive techniques. The artist himself attended the event in the company of his beautiful fiancée, looking stunning in her black gown, revealed to us exclusively that the couple are indeed expecting. Oh no. Well this is a horror game, so something's definitely gone wrong somewhere. Dear Sir, we would like to ask you to cease bothering our pest control specialists as well as refrain from sending us any more of your highly inappropriate letters. Have you know that my mother is a respectable woman and does not take kindly to such accusations? All of our employees that visited your house reported absolutely no signs of a rodent infestation and any of any kind, and as such decided not to act further act further and a prophylactic spraying. Please treat this letter as a final warning or else the next envelope you'll receive will be from our lawyers. With best regards, Carl Denton, Pesky Pest Pacification Company. Those damn pesky pests. A dog collar? Oh, I'm, st ah, I'm stuck. Oh, I heard something. Oh no! My wine! Figured you'd be up all night, so I made you a little treat. You know, made you a little treat. You know, I bet even Rembrandt occasionally took time off from being brilliant and snored his head off like the rest of us common folk. I know. Gasp. 
In other words, get some sleep, you big dummy. I love you. Aww. What here? Now yeah, I can grab. Painting? This. Paint. Rose door. Burnt amber sienna. Brush is 25. Air freshness 50. Apples 10 kilograms. Booze 30. Priorities. I like it. Ah, microphone. Ah! Back. Okay. Ooh, apples. This is a lovely house. I like this. No, that's garlic, not onions. A nice little pantry. Lovely stuff. Right. I don't remember closing you. Mushroom? Toya doesn't flush. Oh, hang on. These bandages look used. Ah, microphone. The rat poison. Okay, I'm not going to question that. This bath is a bit grimy. I have no reflections, so I'm clearly a vampire. I'm going to assume that the, those towels are just that colour. Uh, Achilles prosthetics. One below the knee prosthetic. How the hell do they fuck up the length? Oh dear. Someone lose a leg. trap makes sense because apparently we have an infestation of something that looks disgusting why is there a clock on the floor broken clock Space under the stairs. Who's slamming all my doors? Uh, I didn't touch the workshop just like you asked, although I can't imagine the mess that's inside. Also, if you care so much for that room, maybe you should pay more attention to where you leave the keys. I brought them back to your office. Have a nice day. Yeah, okay. Ooh. Do I want to be going down here? I'm 
not comfortable here. You not. Bloody microphone. Can I turn you off? I can. Rim. I'm going to assume that's wine. Well, I've got a wine fountain. What it is. Is you a thing? I'm a thing. Report card. Reading CDFC. Ooh, that's not communication. DBCD. Mathematics, FDFC, oof. Science, Health, CDCF, not great. Social Science, DCFD, Art, AABA, Music, BABA. ABBA, not ABBA. Physical Education, excused from class. Grade Average, DDDC. Oh dear. I'm going to assume that was my child. Why the hell would I keep my report card as an adult? Over here doesn't look like it. Yeah. Violin. Okay. That door's locked. Okay, the basement wasn't that spooky. We are safe. Okay, I, I do have fast pace. That's good. I can't interact with that door for some Been working all night, don't wake me up. Oh, it's a pull. Hello? I hope that's not a copyrighted song. Oh. I don't like the fact it's gone quiet. Galactic's grand opening in flames. Disastrous fire at the new department store leaves dozens fighting for their lives. The long-awaited opening of the Galactic department store turned into hell on earth when the building's wiring burst into flames. While the majority of the, of the visitors managed to reach the emergency exits in time, several unfortunate attendees were trapped in the back of the building having no chance to escape the raging inferno. The exact number of casualties has not yet been determined, although it is estimated that at least a dozen people have been severely injured. The owner of the Galactic, Ronald Sheffield, has so far declined to comment on today's tragic events. Is that me? Am I, what was his name? Ronald, is that me? Brush, brushes, ring, is wine under the bedside table. That's that's not indicative of a problem at all. No. Sorry, couldn't sleep. The legs been acting up again. Figured I might as well do some work. I love you. Oh, is it my? Is it me who's lost the leg? I seem to be managing quite well without it. It's I don't have a problem. Everyone keeps bottles of what empty bottles of wine in their cupboard.
the key. I know I'm not that good at the piano, but that was just rude. What's in there? Okay. Oh, okay. I'll come back to that door. Oh, there's another one up here. No, I, I, yeah, fine. Don't. No. You're locked. Oh! Oh, why did I come in? Yep, little girl's room, I imagine. So I had a daughter. Russell. That needs uh, tuning. Nothing in there. Creepy toy soldier. Nothing in there. Toys. Okay. Well, my daughter definitely got my artistic skills. I can't knock those off. Need to stop hitting that microphone. I need to face the right way as well. Okay, there doesn't seem to be anything. No, okay, we're good. Open. Right, let's go behind the angry door now. I don't like that. Where is this land on the floor? That my child was my child the wolf the wolf man? What happened here? I've got Oh Little Red Riding Hood. Oh! Oh, that's... Gr that's grim. Lovely. I'm sorry, I'll make it up to you tonight. It's all about you and me. Let's make it special. You promise. Oh dear. I have a key. That's probably for the uh, thing downstairs. Oh, there is something in here. My dear friend, let me ask you one simple question. Have you completely lost your goddamn mind? I know you're going through some rough times right now. I really do. That's why I have agreed to let you do those illustrations in the first place. For old times sake, I even deliberately gave you a trivial task because I expected Little Red Riding Hood to be something you can draw in your sleep. 
What I didn't expect is to get this demented nightmare fuel you submitted for a kid's bedtime story. There is no way in hell I'm using this and I already agree regret agreeing to a payment in, in advance. Please get your shit together. Roll pal Liam Brickstone, Whispered Tale Publishing. Ooh dear. So I'm clearly in grief. And that grief is impacting my work and other relationships. Bones off the hook. And the key. I guess we can head downstairs now into uh, to what I assume is my studio. There we go. Now, I'm no artist, but are most artist studios this messy? Still have no reflection. Some good art in here, though. No, not you. Ah, come here. I'm so sick and tired of us talking through these notes. We live in the same house, for, God, for God's sake. Come talk to me when you're done before you go to sleep. I am guilty of doing something similar. Like, uh, my ex and I at one point, even though we were living in the same place, we were just texting each other. It was... It's not good. Anything? Oh, microphone, and I'm facing the wrong way again. Doesn't look like there's anything in there for me to deal with. No, okay. No? Alright. More wine? I don't have a problem. It's fine. Ah, see? Told you. I don't have a problem. Here's all my discarded paintbrushes. Right, that's locked. Not doing anything. Lost, you deserve it, finish it. Nothing in there. Nothing. What's this? Oops. Excellent. Get it right this time. What? The hell is that supposed to mean? Oh, here we go. Anything in here? Doesn't look like it. Just out of reach. Whoa! Okay, fuck you. Definitely nothing in here. Oh, wait. Open these. Oh, 
Oh, what's that? What's that? Come here. Reconnect with your partner, rebuild your relationship, rediscover the joy of marriage, rekindle the flame. Don't worry, you're not alone. Perfect relationships may look great on the silver screen, but the rest of us mortals have to face the simple truth. Nobody's perfect. And you and you know what? That's fine. In fact, many loving couples struggle with day-to-day -day life in a relationship. This does not make them any less special. It just takes some work, and we're here to help. Our con our con our consultants, all trained experts in their field, of course they are, will help you identify the source of your troubles and deal with it at your own pace, whether it's simple, miscommunication, money problems or, a com or conflicting personalities. Where there's a problem, there's always a solution. And remember, it's never too late. Um, agree to disagree on that one. These are some nice paint. But this is a nice house, it's just a shame it's uh, possessed by demons. Oh, hello. Is that my uh, former fiance playing the piano? Whatever it was, I collected it. Going in circles. Wine will help. Let's. In there. That wind is very musical. Save the date. Request the pleasure of your company to celebrate their wedding on Saturday, 9th of June at St. Duke's uh, Chapel, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Ah, oh, lovely. 17th. Okay. I need to find mode. Oh, what was that? Hey, light. Oh. Oh no. That looks like a four. Eight, five, four. All right. Eight. Five. Four. Hey, there we go. Past holds back. Look closer. The thought alone that the most beautiful piece of art doesn't have my name on it is killing me. So, will you marry me? Uh, okay, kind of corny, dude, not gonna lie. Never forget. Oh, oh there's a new door. Never forget. Oh, 
been snooping around my workshop again. For the last time, you're not allowed in that room. Even if the door happens to be open, I forbid it. This is your last warning. Next time, you'll have to look for a new job. Okay. I know, you're a, I know you're an artiste, dude, but there's really no need, no excuse for being a jerk. Oh, good, it stopped. And you know what? I think this is a good jumping off point for this first episode. So, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later. This has been Layers of Fear. And I'll catch you next time. Take care now.